major layers of the Earth. Based on the study of seismic refraction and seismic reflection, scientists divide the Earth's interior into three main zones. These are the crust, mantle, and core. 1. Crust it is the outermost and thinnest layer of Earth with an average of 16 to 24 kilometers depth. It is found above the mantle and below either the hydrosphere or the atmosphere. Earth's crust is relatively cool, consists of hard strong rock, accounts approximately about 0.3% Earth's mass and a layer that's strongly affected by diastrophism, volcanism and exogenic processes like folding, faulting, rifting, erosion and deposition. The boundary between the Earth's crust and mantle is called Mohorovicici discontinuity. Based on the material composition, Earth's crust is divided into two, continental crust and oceanic crust. Continental crust slash Sial layer slash the upper layer is the layer that forms continental rocks which extend above sea level to the continent's mountain, and it covers about 45% of Earth's surface. Continental crust is thicker than oceanic crust, but lighter in density, and older than oceanic crust. The discontinuity between the continental crust and oceanic crust is called Connard discontinuity. Granite, which mainly consists of feldspar and felsic silica, is dominant. Feldspar contains light minerals, mainly aluminum, and hence the layer is called Sial. Oceanic crust slash sema layer slash lower layer accounts 55% of Earth's surface and made up of dark basaltic rock, consisting mainly of silicates, which is rich in magnesium and iron, sema, mafic minerals. 2. Mantle it is Earth's layer lying beneath the crust and above the core. The mantle extends from the base of the crust to a depth about 2,900 km and ranges in density from 5.5 gm cm3 near the core to 3.3 gm cm3 at the contact with the crust. It represents 80% of the volume and 70% of the mass of the entire Earth. Mantle is made from ultramafic rock, dense igneous rock, composed entirely of ferromagnesian minerals such as olivine, magnesium, iron, and pyroxene. All ultramafic rocks lack feldspar. It is separated from the core by a discontinuity called Gutenberg discontinuity. The three major layers of the mantle are lithosphere, the uppermost part of mantle, and it is relatively cool and consequently hard and strong. The outer part of the earth which includes both the uppermost part of mantle and the crust make up the lithosphere. Asthenosphere extends from the base of lithosphere to depth about 350 kilometers. The asthenosphere is a very hot layer where rocks are changed into soft form, plastic form, which allows the crust above it to move freely on it. Mesosphere, found below the asthenosphere. It is the thickest part of the mantle. It is made up of a much stronger and more rigid rocks because it is within the zone where high pressure balances the effect of high temperature. 3. Core, Barosphere, according to the study of evidences from astronomy and seismic wave, it appears that the Earth's cores is made of metals mainly iron and nickel, non-silicate rock. It is a sphere with a radius of about 3,470 km and the density of material is 10 to 11 gm cm3, and the pressure is probably 3 to 4 million times the pressure at sea level. The core is made up of two sublayers, the outer and inner core. The outer core is composed of mainly iron-nickel alloy with large amount of oxygen and sulfur. This layer is found below the mesosphere in liquid state because of high temperature and low pressure. Convective motions are present in the liquid and as this layer is electrically conducting, it plays an important role in the magnetic dynamo that generates the Earth's magnetic field. On the other hand, the inner core is composed of mainly iron and nickel alloy. Inner core is solid, although the temperature in this region is very high, the high pressure balances it.